In this video series, we'll take a look at the last toolbox on the solids tool frame. And that's this one, which is solid utilities. And we'll open this up as a toolbox and take a look at the first one, which is convert to solid. This tool converts a basic solid or a 3D surface element into a smart solid or a primitive solid. Now, some 3D tools automatically create smart solids or smart surfaces, which gives them added intelligence. Some tools don't, however, and it's sometimes useful for a basic element to become smart. Some editing tools will only operate on a smart solid or a smart surface. Often the process is actually quite simple. I've just placed this slab and let's have a look and see what it actually is. So we'll do the selection process here. Let me go back to my selection arrow. And it's just called a solid. So this is actually a primitive solid. Let's use the tool. And we're creating a smart solid. So we're converting to a smart solid. And we just data point on the slab and go back to the selection tool. And we see that now we have a smart solid. Now let's undo that action. Let's make sure we have just a solid. And what I'm going to do is to go in there and add something. So I'm going to use the fillet edges tool. And I'm going to put a couple of fillets on here. So one there, and one there, one there, one there. So there are my fillets. Now, if we look in shaded view, we see that. I'm going to go back. Now let's take a look at the selection again and we see that we have a smart solid. So the fillets that we added are added intelligence to that object. And that's what they mean by intelligence. There are features which are now part of this object, which make it smart. Now, as I said, it's normal for that sort of operation to automatically turn this object into a smart object, but you can use the tool to do it manually. Now this tool will also change a three-dimensional closed surface into a smart solid as well. Now, for example, I have a cone here, which in fact is a surface. Let me show you what I mean. Color this. And let's move that over to there. And I'll rotate downwards. And you can see that this is a surface cone, not a solid at all. If I use my converter solid on the surface, the wireframe changes. And if we do color again and a rotate, then we see that we have a solid now. So that's actually quite a useful operation. Now, the trick here, of course, is that the surface has to be a closed surface. And obviously the cone certainly is. And of course, this precludes trying to convert a flat surface into a solid. So experiment with that last option, but just remember that it must be a closed surface meaning that it loops back on itself as a cone does.